In this video, you will learn how to install and set up the Authy UFA application. Quick note, I already have my Authy account set up, so uh, in order to show you how to get this done, I will create a new dummy account. Now let's begin. So here we have my phone. Just go into your app store. Type in Authy. Here's the application. It'll say Twilio Authy two-factor authentication. Click it. Again, I already have mine installed. Uh, so here for you, it's going to say install. So you're going to do just that. All right. Okay. Once you install your new uh, Authy application, open it up and you should be presented with a screen to enter in your phone number. All right. Don't worry. This is the, this, this doing this will not send you spam calls. It's not going to send you uh, spam text messages. The reason for the phone number is that the application needs to, it, it, it depends on your phone number as part of your identity. Almost all 2FA systems use your phone number as a way to send you a code via text messages to confirm your identity. Now, I'm going to enter my number. Uh, Enter in your country code. I'm in the U.S., so we're going to keep U.S. Then we're going to hit OK. Hit Yes. Now, the Authy application needs to verify your account, like I said before. So it will send you a text message to verify this. I personally like to use the Receive SMS message option. SMS is another way of saying text message. All right, so I'm going to use this, and I'm going to receive a text message. Pull this up. Text message. This is my text message. Ah, there it is. So my code is two seven seven. Okay. So now the application is setting itself up for first time use. Uh, my phone has a bunch of software running in the background. I've got a number of applications running, so it's running a bit slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this application and reopen it. You may not have to do this. This is only for my phone because again, I have a bunch of apps running at the same time. I'm going to close it out. I'm going to reopen it. Okay, good. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to secure your account. So disregard this for now. So I want you to click the three dots up top. I want you to go to settings. And then I want you to go to app protection. You're going to click this. Okay, so now what this is, is this is a pin that you're going to need to use every time you're going to access your Authy application. Right now, this pin number is something that you I would recommend you write it down, even if it's something that you feel that you're going to uh, easily remember. Uh, so I'm going to use one, two, three to keep it simple. I would make this pin number very difficult. So use random digits. Each digit should be different. And not in sequential order. All right. So now we're here. So now you have your pin set up. Let's go back. I'm going to click dark mode. So it's just a personal preference. So now what we're going to do is I want you to click into accounts. And then we're going to begin to set up backups. So click this. Now, before you get presented with this screen, you guys might be presented with a screen to enter in the pin code that you recently set up. Enter in that pin code and you will then be presented with this screen. Now, this is a very important screen here. Very, very important section. What this will give you the ability to do is set up a password that you will use to restore your account in the event that you lose your phone 
somebody steals your phone or your phone breaks and you lose access to the Authy account, right? Without this password, right? If any of those things happen, you will not be able to restore your account. Okay, you want to make this password very difficult. The purpose of this video, I'm going to make it very simple. Password, one, two, three. Password, one, two, three. Now, again, you want to take this password, keep it in a secure space. Do not take a capture of it with your phone. Do not take a picture of it with a, a third party camera. Write this code down on a piece of paper and put it in a safe spot. Maybe you have a lockbox. Maybe you have a, a fireproof safe. These are the type of places where you want to keep it. Because again, I'm going to say it again because there have been plenty of times where people have typed in this password, they've forgotten the password, either their phone got stolen, it was lost, or their phone was broken, they lost access to this application, they bought a new phone, however, they were not able to restore their account because they didn't have this password. They either forgot it, all right? I don't care if it's a password that you feel that you're going to be able to remember, write it down and put it somewhere safe. All right, so now the system is going to ask me to enable the PIN number that I set up to verify my new backup password. All right, so now you're all set up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click devices. And we're going to enable, if it's not already enabled, we're going to enable allow multi-device. Now, this is a really important feature. What this is, is, is it gives you the ability to sync multiple devices with the same account. So for instance, if I'm at home and I don't want to use my phone to access my codes, I can install the same Authy application on my laptop or desktop PC. All right, so we're going to enable this. Okay, hit OK. Okay, now I'm going to show you a quick example of what I mean. So here is my mobile phone, right? I'm going to close out the dummy account. Okay, I'm going to close out the dummy account and I'm going to pull up my real account so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's close this out. Go to my Authy account, the real one. To log in with my print. All right, so here's this account. All right now, I'm going to pull up the same application on my PC so you can see exactly how this works. It's already open. Now, here it is. Okay, so as you can see, the same code is showing on both my mobile phone and on the PC, so it's it's completely synced, right? If, 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 I, if my phone is in another room and I need to access this code, I don't need my phone. I can also access this, the same codes on my desktop. You see how it just changed? These two applications are synced. I will create an additional video to show you how to install the application on your computer. Okay, so now your account should be all set up and ready to go. All you need to do is add accounts to it. All right, so let's go to accounts. You could either do it this way, or I like to go back to the beginning, the home page. That way I'm here, and you can click this button to add an account. Now, I'm going to create an additional video, a part two to this video, where we will be adding accounts to the Authy application. Thanks for watching.